We're going book shopping again, and in this video, we're going to be taking books that are really popular on BookTok and BookTube and Bookstagram and taking them to free little libraries. So make sure you're subscribed because there's new videos every single day for the entire month of October, and I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to my channel. I'm Shauna, see if you guys are new, and today is actually a super, super fun day. We are going to be buying a ton of best-selling books and putting them into little free libraries, and really the idea that came for like this little video was mostly because when I went to the bookstore with my friend Alex if you guys have seen that book shopping video or if you haven't seen it go watch it but if you've seen it you guys could literally see the excitement in her eyes when she was like looking at books and getting books and we actually are gonna go book shopping again together in a couple weeks she has literally fallen in love with books and when we were talking she was like yeah I have not been to a bookstore like I literally have never been to a bookstore before which blew my mind as like a 30 year old like never being able to go and like experience a bookstore is wild but I started thinking like about how book shopping and just like having books in general is such a privilege and I feel so privileged to be able to book shop and you guys see me book shopping all the time and I want to spread that love with so many people who maybe don't get that experience. And I feel like the little free libraries do have good books, but like they don't usually have best selling books. So we are going to go buy some best selling books and put them in there. I'm so excited for this. I thought this would be a fun way to show kindness just to like my community and hopefully help someone really fall in love with reading if they haven't already. So I'll be picking up probably a lot of my favorite books. Um, I also have some books that are at home that maybe I'll like unhaul and give to free libraries depending on like how I feel like example I have like literally three copies of their book reel um I read one of them but then the other two copies I haven't read so maybe I'll give them away I don't know but we're gonna head inside pick out some books and we are gonna go to put them in free little libraries and I hope people really enjoy doing this I thought this would be like a really fun video so let's head inside first free little book library and I do not know what books to like put over there. I literally spent like 600 and something dollars on books so I got a ton. I don't even know like what exactly I got. Um, I'm just gonna run through them really quick. I got Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, Archer's Voice. I'm not gonna say the author so I can get through these faster. The Fine Print, um, November 9th, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, 
Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Magnolia Parks. I literally got so many, but I want to fill up like multiple books. Love and Other Words, The Housemaid, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I ended up getting some fantasy because I wanted to make sure that I got like stuff for people who don't just like romance. Um, the Holiday Switch. This was a cute little Christmas book it's by Tiff Marcello. Uh, the Love Con by Cerisa Glass. Excuse me while I ugly cry. Monday's not coming. I wanted to make sure I got tons of books by black authors because you guys know I am a huge reader of diverse books. Seven Days in June, A Day in December by Josie Silver. This is actually a really good Christmas book too if you're looking for a Christmas book. Um, highly suspicious, suspicious and Unfairly Cute, The Inheritance Games, Before I Let Go, Ooh. Shatter Me. I'm running out of space here for these books. I also got um, some books for myself and I'll show you guys those in a little bit. They're Vicious Games. Imogene, obviously. I wanted to get also some queer books because I feel like it's really important to have diverse books in just like all of these little um, like book libraries. The Love Hypothesis, <laughs> Beach Read, uh, Things We Never Got Over, The Hating Game, uh, Good Girl's Guide to Murder, A Thousand Boy Kisses, The Naturals. I've heard so many good things about this, so I figured someone would like it. Um, buy the book. Heartstopper. Oh my god, I'm literally running out of space. Bell the Ball. I literally am reading this right now and it's super cute, so I wanted to get it for somebody because I thought that they would like it. Icebreaker. Daisy Jones and the Six. I don't even know how many... Someone count how many books are here. Um, if you'll have me, this looks like a little cute um, graphic novel. If he had been with me, better than the movies, and... Ace of Spades and those are the books that I picked up. I don't really know how I'm going to like organize these um, and like how I'm even gonna decide what goes in each like little library but I kind of want to just fill up the libraries like whichever ones are emptiest I'm just gonna like throw a ton of books in there so I'm gonna grab some books and then we'll head out and go put them in. In the first free little book library, I put Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute, The Inheritance Games, and then I put all of these right here. It's wild how empty like these were. Like without these books, there was pretty much nothing in here. And most of these books are like books for kids or like middle grade. So hopefully someone will really enjoy these. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. into this free library like literally there's so many but this one is front of a, in front of a high school and I feel like they will enjoy it the most literally the only books in here before I put these in were the, these three that's literally it and like I mean if I were in high school these are not really the books that I would like probably pick up right off the bat so I'm hoping because these are all super popular 
books like especially on tiktok i'm hoping that people will be interested so i kind of like put like one front facing or something so people like see it and then maybe push the other ones this way i don't know i feel like i'm doing too much like i'm literally doing the most but like this will make people want to like look in here because they'll see like new books maybe i'll put this one down here there i think it really like grabs your eye you know trying to think of like the most popular ones that are on TikTok. I think these two are super popular. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave it just like that and close it. Like it's literally, I didn't even know if like people still use this because it had like the tape on the front, but I feel like they definitely do. So hopefully this will grab people to want to get books out of here. We're gonna finish off this video here with a haul and this really, I hope, encourages you guys to put books into your little free libraries because I had no clue, like absolutely no clue how empty these like free little libraries are. There's a lot of like kid books, but that's pretty much it. And I went to so many, like you guys saw, like let me count how many I went through. I literally went through a ton, but um, yeah, I want to give you guys a little haul of the books that I picked up for myself. The first book that I picked up, oh my gosh, I feel like Bane's gonna start barking because there's a guy like walking fast. But the first book that I picked up is by Amber Smith and she wrote The Way I Used to Be. It's called The Last to Go. And on the back it says, how do you let go of something you never had? Junior year for Brooke Winters is supposed to be about change. Oh, he didn't bark. Oh my gosh, I love that. When all of her dreams are shattered one hot summer afternoon, uh, when her mother is arrested for killing Brooke's abu abusive father. No one really knows what happened that day, if it was premeditated or self-defense, whether it was right or wrong. And now Brooke and her siblings are all on their own. In a year first, the first year without parents, first love, first heartbreak, and her first taste of freedom, Brooke must confront the shadow of her family's violence and dysfunction as she struggles to embrace her identity, finds her true place in the world, and learns how to let go. And then I got one more book, and it is uh, If You'll Have Me by Uni. I don't really know, like, the name of this author, um, like, because I've never bought anything from this author. But on the front, it had a little blurb from Alice Oseman, who wrote Heartstopper and Loveless. It says, super sweet and totally heartwarming. On the back, it says, love is at the door if they're brave enough to let it in. Mama Gardner is the kind of friend who's always ready to lend a helping hand. She's introverted, sensitive, and maybe a little too trusting, but she likes to believe the best in people. PG, on the other hand, is a bit of a lone wolf. Despite her reputation for being a flirt and a player, underneath all that cool mystery, she's actually quick to smile, and when she falls for someone, she falls hard. An unexpected meet cute brings the two together, kicking off the beginning of an awkward yet endearing courtship, but with their drastically different personalities, Momo's overprotective friend and PG's past coming back to haunt her, Momo and PG's romance is put to the test. So I got both of these for myself. I couldn't go in and have like a little bookstore shopping without getting something for me. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm really excited that I filled those up and this actually makes me feel really good because the bus drop off is literally dropping them off right in the spot where all the books and stuff are so I'm hoping that people will see the books and like there are so many other like book places that I filled up but I feel like now I really want to fill up the high school ones even more so I'm gonna go and try to see if I can fill up some of the other high school um like little libraries because I don't know I just I feel so passionate about like getting books to people who I feel need them. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Bye guys.